Okay, in this movie what I want to talk about is just some basic object characteristics that you're going to see when you're working in Illustrator just so that we're talking about the, the same things. So I'm going to just make a, a couple of objects using a couple of different tools just to stress that all of these creation tools basically generate the same kind of object. I'll first use the pencil and just draw out an open path. Um, right now we can tell that it has a fill of none, it has a stroke of black, and again if you want to change the color of any of these you can just bring the fill or stroke forward on the tool palette, or if we open up the color palette a little more, remember you can double click on the tab, you can bring the fill or stroke forward as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a green fill just so that you can see that when you have an open path it um, fills from the start point to the end point and we do have a stroke applied to it even though it's hard to see here because what we also see are a series of anchor points. The anchor points define the shape. If I click away we can see that stroke of black. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Now let's go ahead and make a closed shape. I'll do that with a tool in, in our closed palette here. I'll just make a polygon things that are special about polygons, as you're dragging out, if you have the mouse button still down, you can hold the arrow keys up or down to add or remove uh, segments to your polygon. So in any case, that's, that's one nice thing. Um, now, again, we can have both a fill and a stroke applied. We have anchor points that define both of our shapes here. If I draw across both, you can see we both have anchor points. This one has corner points only, and that's why we have just these flat segments. But I can easily change those, um, which I'll show you in a minute. This one has a series of smooth points, I believe. If I click on uh, one of the sections, you'll notice there's a handle here, and we have these bezier handles that stick out. So here's the anchor point, and the bezier handles define the, the severity of the curve. If I move a bezier handle in all the way to the anchor point, it removes that um, that part of the curve. And I can do that on either side of the line segment, and I'll end up with a straight line. Click and drag this in, and notice that we now have a straight line along here. So this is defined kind of the same way as these anchor points. If I uh, get a tool to convert this into a smooth point, you'll see how they're related. Under the pen tool, if I click and hold, I can choose the very last tool, which is the convert anchor point tool. If I click and drag, it actually creates those bezier handles on either side. And what designates a smooth point is that the, the control handles stay on either side of the anchor point. So if I move one side or the other, we can't tell really where the point is on that path. I have to click on the path and, and find the point. All right, so that's a smooth point. This is a corner point that has no handles. And in a case where you might have a handle on one side and, and no handle on the other, well, we could just call that a hybrid point. If I drag this in, there we go. We've got a curve on one, a straight edge on the other. So let's just call it a hybrid. Um, now, there's also such a thing as a, a pinched curve, and I think I mentioned this in a previous movie. Um, if I drag out, so I have smooth points here, but then I grab one of these handles with the Convert Anchor Point tool. Notice I'm not using the white arrow, I'm using the Convert Anchor Point tool. If I grab that, it breaks it, so it's now no longer do opposite of the other handle. And by doing that, I can influence these curves independently, the in and out points or the in and out curves of this anchor point. So this is called a pinch curve when you see uh, the curve coming in and then going out kind of like a hill. Or we could swing it around the other way and make a crescent or a wave. Um, but again, as I've mentioned previously, with uh, those conversions we can make just about any silhouette possible um, with just the little set of, of points. Um, let's see, so we have open and closed points, or open and closed paths, sorry. Each path can have a fill, a stroke, 
or neither, um, I can remove the stroke just as easily as the fill just by clicking on it in the tool palette. So now we have a fill with no stroke, we have a stroke with no fill, and I'll make a merger here, we'll just make a copy, and I'll add a stroke on. Uh, when you have strokes, you can increase or decrease the point size just from the stroke palette. There we go. And there's some additional options in here, which I think I've also mentioned before in some other movies, but you can have the dash lines and you can determine the distance and all of that. Um, but in any case, those are the, the key things of almost any Illustrator object. Illustrator objects expand from there, but they, they really start with that. Um, in the next little movie, what I want to do is talk about how you can uh, select objects and duplicate them and make some symmetrical objects and, and do some copying.